Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels. So if you're watching my lifestyle channel, hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Hi, how are you all doing? I would like to say it's my birthday today and um, I have enjoyed it. Um, I've gone uptown and I brought some perfume. Um, I've had a meal uptown and and um, spoke to so, uh, some friends or, and like people that I know and um, I received my uh, free birthday cake from uh, Costa Coffee so thank you to Costa Coffee for that um, so yes I've really enjoyed myself um, up to now um, Um, on my day off from work um, if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and a big thumbs up and thank you for doing so um, I would love uh, for anyone that hasn't subscribed to be added to join my squad and a big thank you for doing so I really appreciate it and um, now um, today I'm going to be doing a budget travel news special 10 exciting facts july 2023 part one so i'm going to kick off now um, with the first tip and this is from the times uh, .co uk. you can get more even more information and um, if you go onto that website and um, but number one is finding a a good package deal websites such as kayak and travel supermarket are, are good places to start it's also worth looking um at um, holiday pirates and at ukdeals.com and at uh, visit lucky trip and um, if you're trying to work out uh, what kind of holiday uh, you can afford within your travel budget or if you're not going for a holiday you're um, looking to do some traveling if you visit lucky trip then it can find out what you can afford and um, if you decide to go traveling um, within your budget and um, but with that website you will have to be open to a variety of accommodation options and um, if you do visit lucky trip but even if you want to find out what kind of budget um, you're looking at then it's worth um, for your trip it's worth looking on luckytrip.com and number two um, it's how to book and com compare prices when you're travelling on a budget. You, uh, num what you need to do is um, always book flights in advance and not on, on the day. And always book flights on the right day. It's cheaper to travel at midweek like Tuesday and Wednesday than what it is on weekends um, like Saturday etc and um, also the time periods um, it's better to, if you're looking to save money then it's better to um, book low or mid season uh, than high season And uh, number three, use your web browsers incognito mode. So use your web browsers in incognito mode uh, when you are looking uh, for things online in general. Uh, websites um, often trace you and remember you. So if you use incognito then once you go back to the mode then once you go back to 
um, the website then it already like has your details and remembers you so you're likely to find what you're looking for quicker and uh, number four use a flight comparison site um, that's all also again a really popular way of saving money um, number five uh, think carefully about your accommodation um, when traveling on a budget uh, you have to browse sites such as booking.com to Vargo and compare them with um, for example Airbnb in the same range and um, uh, within the same price range so therefore you know basically uh, what you're going to get the best deal or which places offer you or which place offers you the best deal for your budget number six and um, always get insured it's really important and um, a wide if you have in uh, travel insurance especially if you're traveling ab abroad and um, it covers you for a wide range of accidents mishaps uh, which uh, can include a cancellation of your trip or flight etc illness accidents loss or stolen baggage uh, death even um, and it's uh, worth getting as soon as you book your holiday um, and not at the last minute um, because if you get travel insurance at the last minute like the day before you're due to travel then it won't it's you won't get cover if you need to cancel your holiday in advance or if you're trip gets can uh, cancelled etc or Sunday else goes wrong it's always better to get travel insurance and uh, then once you've got travel insurance and you know you've read your travel insurance then you know your rights um, against um, the travel company that you're going with or you know your rights in regards to insurance what and um, also when you're getting insurance make sure you know like with any other insurance what it covers you for and what it doesn't cover you for and uh, number seven know your rights um, hopefully your trip will go smoothly but um, if there's an unexpected unexpected cancellation it is key to know what your rights are so you can get any refund or compensation which you're entitled to so again that's um reading your travel uh, travel insurance policy make sure you know what it it includes um before you uh, basically book your holiday even if you get annual travel insurance always do it the same time as you book your holiday and um, number eight if you're not already a specialist or you do not have um, an already specialist travel credit or debit card uh, you could end up losing a heap of money on freeze uh, when you uh, pay with your card abroad your normal card abroad so it is uh, really beneficial um, to ba basically get a travel debit or cr credit card um, because, uh, because again, again you can lose a heap of mo uh, money and it's, it's also saving you money but again 
as with any other credit card it needs to be paid off in full uh, with credit cards and that even so there may be other perks with your credit or debit card um, so even so you're getting a better deal than um, not uh, than just using your normal credit card number nine if you're asked uh, whether you want to pay in pound sterling or the local currency always choose the local currency when you're paying your local currency your payment card provider will um, do the currency exchange rate instead um, so it basically saves you money this it means you'll get um, the rate set by your provider if you have a specialist travel card uh, this it will be a close uh, or as close as possible uh, to the true exchange rate so it'll be as close as possible to to the true ex, exchange rate so it's a lot better than um basically paying in pounds uh, sterling uh, last but not least is fact number 10 uh, buying travel money timing it has to, the timing has to be right and uh, it can help help you save a lot of money basically so if you go to money.co.uk it is a useful tool or a, so uh, money.uk um, for buying any travel money so I would like to say thank you for watching and um, I'll see you tomorrow um, with another travel vlog and um, it's going to be the best ski trips July to, uh, 2023 and uh, basically I'll be doing what a best ski or winter holiday um, if you're looking to book uh, for basically now um, to, uh, to either late this year or next year so um, that's what I'm going to do tomorrow so I hope you have um, a lovely day and night wherever you are in the world and thank you for watching and bye for now thank you bye